Several Albuquerque residents say they're being forced to suffer in sweltering heat. Good evening, everyone. I'm Crystal Gutierrez. Tenants at an apartment complex say their homes are so hot it's hard to bear, but they have a problem. They can't just move out. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is in the news facts to explain. Crystal Renners told us today the air conditioning unit at their apartment complex is off more than it's on, and they claim management is giving them the cold shoulder. Fans blasting throughout the apartment in an attempt to beat the heat. There's many people in this complex that are older and also young children that 80s and 90 degrees in the apartment is just uninhabitable. This man and his wife did not want to be identified, but say they're fed up with the Sun Creek Village Apartments. The couple and other tenants tell us the air conditioning unit has been broken, going off and on for the past month. They say the heat inside is unbearable, and they're not the only ones who've expressed concerns to management. They said that they were aware of the issue, but if there was health concerns, that we should just stay somewhere else or with family. But unfortunately, we don't have family up here. She's not the only one who's been told that. Another renter showed us a letter from Bridge Property Management last week acknowledging the problem and suggesting the same thing, stay with someone else or turn on fans. Sometimes we would get a call back and it would just say we're working on it, but now they're not even calling back anymore. Her husband told us it's a big AC unit with the issues and that it helps cool roughly 120 units when it does work. But he says more often than not, it doesn't. So we endured through three nights of high temperatures and pretty much no sleep because of we actually were sick in our stomachs from the heat. Residents here say they feel stuck since management won't allow them to break a lease without penalty. We've just got to either pay the $1,600 that's required to break the lease to move or that we were going to have to endure through the maintenance of the unit. Now, tenants say they're also being denied rent compensation. One person says her rent is 830 bucks a month plus utilities and she can't afford a hotel. Tenants there say the AC was on for part of the day today, but they never know when it'll turn off again. Back to you. All right, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, we spoke to an emergency maintenance worker tonight who said they would get a hold of managers for us. They have yet to return our calls. Residents say they have not been told when, if at all, that the AC will be fixed.